Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video that will show you how to download the Windows 10 Spring 2019 update. It's free and easy. Here's a really quick and easy way to download the update now if you have not been notified that the update's ready for you yet. First of all, go down to your Start menu and on the column here, go ahead and click on the Settings icon. That opens up the Windows Settings and go down to the Update and Security. Once there, go ahead and click on it and then you can go up here and click on Check for Updates. Then your computer will go out and check for any updates that are available for your computer, like the spring update. And if it comes back like it did on mine and tells me there's no updates available and that I am up to date, there is a really quick and easy way to get the spring update. So let's close this out. And we're going to go back to our desktop here and open up an internet browser of your choosing. Mine happens to be Firefox and go out to Google or your favorite search engine and type in Windows 10 download. I'm just going to paste it because I had it in memory. Once you typed it in, go ahead and click on Google search and then you'll get some potential links here and the one that I suggest that you click on is this first one here download Windows 10 disk image ISO file Microsoft so let's go ahead and click on that and when you do that opens up the Windows 10 update page and for your convenience I'll put this URL address in my video description for you now you can go ahead and click on the update now button or we can go down here below and click on download tool now and that creates the installation media if you want it to but we want to go ahead and update now and I'll click on that and in Firefox I get this prompt do you want to save the file and I'm going to go ahead and click on save file and that'll start the download of that particular file for me and I can go up here and click on the download load arrow and I can see that it's completed which opens up several windows starting checking and then I get the update to the latest version of Windows 10 window and at this point I can go ahead and click on the update button and then it goes out and checks and comes back and says congratulations this PC is compatible CPU memory and disk space is okay and then getting your update ready and this will take a while folks so um, be patient it can take a good uh, 20 or 30 minutes and then once it's completed it'll go ahead and tell me that the um, download has been verified and then um, the update to Windows 10 starts and this can take a while also a good 20 30 minutes depending on the speed of your computer and once it's completed doing as much as it can while Windows is still up and running and once it hits 100 percent you get this window your update is ready your PC needs to restart to complete the update in about 30 minutes it will automatically restart your computer and complete the update process now keep in mind that before you decide to click on the restart now button read this because it's important um, save your work close out anything that you have open keep your PC plugged in and turned on those are important things and then if you want you can go ahead and click on the restart now button and when you do that will restart your computer and on some computers it will restart your computer several times before the update process is completed but once it is done you'll get a prompt to log back into Windows if you have your computer password protected and once you are in Windows the first thing that you might notice is the background wallpaper is a different shade of blue and looks a little bit different all right um, that's it for this video um, I hope you got a lot out of it thanks for watching if you like subscribe and leave a like if you like